Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Kaylin Cockreel. Thanks for joining us. Now it's time to bring you the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of November 7th through the 13th. City engineering staff presented an exciting new trail project to city council members recently. At the October 22nd meeting, engineers presented the preliminary designs for the Highland Multimodal Trail Project. This project would link existing trail systems around Bush Lake and the Highland Lake Park Reserve Trails with the Minnesota Valley State Trail at Bloomington Ferry Road. The new trail would run along Bush Lake Road to 106th Street and then connecting with Bloomington Ferry Road. In the park, what we're trying to do is connect this park where you can have more of a family rider, maybe a rider that's not a type A, a senior rider. Even me, I'm not a type A rider. And I, I'm more comfortable on that off-road trail. And I might like to get to this trail down here, but right now there's not a good an accommodation to do that. And until you can connect the two, as our alternate transportation plan has, you then you, you bring more people there once you get the connection in. What the beauty of this is, is we would have that connection to connect those two trails and also on the other side of the street, if you don't want to walk on the bike trail, the existing sidewalk is there where you walk today. So you can have separate peds and bikes going at the same time. The city has received a federal transportation enhancement fund that would be used for this improvement. Construction will begin sometime in 2014. Bloomington's Human Services Division is seeking residents interested in refreshing their driving skills. Creekside Community Center, located at 9801 Penn Avenue South, is the site of AARP's Driver Safety Program, offering classes throughout the months of November and December. Class participants must be age 50 or older, and for a fee of $12 to $14, get a refresher on traffic laws, signage, and health conditions like vision in relation to driving. Both four-hour classes and eight-hour classes are available, and some even qualify for lower insurance rates by completing this course. Upcoming classes are Wednesday, November 14th from 1 to 5 p.m., Tuesday, November 20th, and Friday the 30th from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. Reservations are required, so be sure to call 952-563-4948 to hold your spot in class. And in other Creekside Community Center news, Creekside Boutique has transitioned into their holiday hours for the months of November and December. Room 104 at Creekside Community Center looks like a mini department store when you walk into it. There are a variety of items including jewelry, towels, winterwear, and floral arrangements. Creekside Boutique is run by a group of senior volunteers who are also the artists crafters, and creators of all the items for sale. Hours are Monday through Fridays from 10 a.m. until 2.45 p.m., Tuesdays from 6 to 8 p.m., and new holiday hours include Saturdays from 9.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. If you're looking for something unique to give someone special this holiday season, be sure to check out the Creekside Boutique. The Works Museum in Bloomington is widely known as a hands-on, minds-on learning center for young people. Complete with interactive exhibits that encourage engineering exploration, the Works serves 70,000 children, educators, and families each year, and now adults are invited to become a kid again. On Thursday, November 15th from 5.30 to 9 p.m., residents are encouraged to attend the Innovation Starts Here fundraiser at The Works, located at 9740 Grand Avenue. Tickets are $40 and will be sold until the day before the event. Guests are invited to mingle over refreshments while exploring the design lab, bidding on silent auction items, and finding teams to challenge one another in the fort building competition. And that is the buzz on Bloomington today for the week of November 7th through the 13th. Thanks for joining us.